Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Legends of Isenwald, and you just saw me get my butt kicked at the Tower of Wind, so we are going to save that for later. So right now we need to go take Otilla, her, to um, Windfield, so I can hopefully get in the graces of the Chancellor so I can see him, find out what's going on. I can get help with um, taking back my land. Alright, now where am I at? Oh, there we are. Why well, I'm here, I think I'm going to go up here and see if I've got any tights. Tip tributes, I always say tights. Tights, but it's tributes. Uh, since this is now my castle. Oh, this one here too. Well, it's supposed to be. But it doesn't look like it's got my... Do you have any tributes for me? None. Okay. How about the castle? is up here. They sure make you walk a long ways around to get to places, I swear. And with all this, I just don't see how they grow anything. Everything is rock. And look at I have a garrison. I don't know how, where they came from. So I get 150 here. Where did these people come from? I don't know. They're not mercenaries. But you know, um... 65. Oh no, I'm I'm better than what's sitting here. Really? Hmm. Yep. All right. So, let's go down to That wasn't too far off. Oh, I just oh, gotta watch so much where you click at. Come on. Let's go. Move, move, move. I beg for your mercy. Don't hand me over to the city guard. These fat merchants, money lenders, and city men and women wallow in luxury while peasants and workers die of hunger. So why is it wrong that I give a chance to common folk to earn something? Any one of these money bags is a hundred times the robber that I am. And she is kind of right about that. Life has been hard on me. My father was a craftsman ruined by money lenders. In order not to die of hunger, I had to make my agreement with the robbers. But after I had my revenge on those tenders, on those lenders, I couldn't stop. Those I had gone in with wouldn't let me out. That's true, too. You would spin any story to secure your release. What's your interest in handing me over to the city guards anyway? Am I just another head to hand in for bounty? The only way I can succeed in my goal is to make an impression on the nobility here in Winfield. You upset very important people, and your capture will give me my way in. What if I give you another option in order to gain fame? I knew this handsome rogue from, oops, got to get on my magnifying glass, named Celsi called Xavier. You must have heard of him. He stole St. Landry's halo. Believe it or not, I know where he hid it. You'll be able to return the halo to Winfield and get the fame you desire. Now, when I played this off camera, I went ahead and said, no, I just handed her over so I think I'm going to go ahead and accept her offer this time. Because I don't think it really makes any difference what, who I hand in. I'm going to get the fame. Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and accept. You made the right decision. Xavier is a religious man in his own way and hides stolen goods under the altar in the ruins of an old chapel near the cast, castle Glazy and Fitchen. You will, come, you will go with us, and if you think to lure me into a trap, well, things will not end well for you. So she still follows us. So now, do I have any... Ooh, San Landry's, Landry's... Okay. So now I have another quest. You do... In return for her freedom. So where is this at? Oh, I gotta go clear over here. Which is fine. I was going to collect my tights tributes from over there anyway. So, here we go. Well, that looks like there was somebody bad here. Right? I mean, 
Maybe? There it is. Yep. We gotta fight to build up character. Alright. Just give it to you. Arrgh. And... God, I hate to put him out there because he's not doing very well. I'm just going to let him sit. Nope. Oh, let's go ahead and put bigger on him. Not bigger, but invigoration. And then one on you. Oops. Here. Yep, pick on me, pick on me. That should get rid of him. Yep. And you're gonna get stabbed. Ouch! Why are you bumping yourself up? Are you must I don't know. Okay, let's get you over here. All right, nice kill. And get rid of that one. You guys gonna run? Nope. Well, you're kind of dumb. Should have surrendered. Who needs it? Oops. Actually, not too much, but I'll go ahead and do this one. And myself, hmm. There you go. Now they're going to surrender. Yep, surrendered, and I didn't get anything but 63. Okay. Nobody leveled up? Nope. Alright, where was I going? Um, no, I'm going this way. Cross right? Am I going the right way? No, the east bridge over here. Oh, that looks like another... Whoa, look at all these people! What are you doing? Okay, anyone need healed? He does. Not really. Um, put that on you. I should take him. Yep. Should have surrendered. No one leveled up? Nope. All right, so I need to find my... Where were, my... where were my castles at? They were down here somewhere. Right? Am I going the right direction? Oh, there they are. Over here. I think. Oop, I went the wrong way. I needed to come up over here. There we go. These roundabout way on these roads. Here we go, that's mine. And... Oh, I missed the castle. That's fine. Did I get tribute here? No tribute. Almost sounds like geese. All right, here's the castle. And I got a contingency of people here too. And I get, ooh, 220, look at that. 1,200, cool. All right, now we need to go down. Wasn't it, um, oh, is that up here? How am I supposed to get to it? 
Nope, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go... It's up behind my castle. How do I get to it? Um, these trails, or you just got to pick them out. All right. It's, oh, it's on the other side. Hmm. All right, let me, let me look here. It's on the other side of my watchtower. So I got to go up to my second watchtower. Or, so I need to go up over here. Oop, there's something bad moving around up here. I don't think it was ever over here. Get out of the water, I'm coming to get you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of her. And you come over here. Get rid of him. Let's build him up. Let's build him up. gone. Didn't get him gone, but All right. Which one of you assholes are we going to get rid of? Just gonna get rid of the archers. Since they like picking on me. <laughs> Alright. Who's that? Oh, this one. That was gone. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and heal him. And um, probably him too. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Well, I won't get rid of you. Yep, you did. You gonna run? Yep, you surrendered. Okay. So somewhere in here is up this way. I got a little farther than I was supposed to. Okay, so here's my watchtower. Right? Yep, so it's up behind it. Hmm. Well, this is my castle. Okay. All right, what's this over here? I just clicked on something. Is this it? Am I going towards it? I sure am. Well, wouldn't you be able to tell that this place... Well, you wouldn't be able to tell that this place was once a chapel. The most important thing is that the altar is in place. Look underneath. Under the remains of the altar, you find a big golden nimbus, a cloth bundle filter, littered with silver coins and a few other valuables. Good, Otelia. Since you didn't lie, I'll keep my word. You may go. Thank you, dear Corinne. May we never meet again. Uh, likewise. So oh, I do like your dress. I like those. Mm-hmm. All right. Robber's hideout. So what did we get out of that? We got another one of these health. 
Um, medallions. There we go. Does he have one? No. I'll just give that to him. Is that all that I got? I mean... Oh, there it is. And this. Church of Utensils? Sorry, I'm moving my microphone around here. What the heck is this? Church Utensils? Hmm. Okay, and... Wow. So I can give that to one of them? No? Hmm. Probably has to go to a lector. But I got the nimble, Nimbus, whatever. No, I need to find a way to get out of here. Now we can go back. Of course, I'm probably going to end up having to give that back. You know, I mean, that's just the way it is. I found it. And now I got to give it back. But then I also took care of that one... Um, St. Landry's, because wasn't there one, The Legend of the, the Legend of St. Landry? I think. I don't know. Let's just get this off of here. Okay. I like how you can mark your um, quests on the map so you can find. Not all of them are able to do that. Alright, now I need to get back to wherever I'm trying to get to. Good day, Your Grace. No doubt you want... you. You want to look at the stone? No, oh. Good day, Your Grace. No doubt you went to look at the stone. What stone? There's a stone not far from our village, with which the knights of, oh my goodness, all consonants, ordered to drag out on the shore about a hundred years ago. They say one of them drowned in the lake. The others dived and searched for this body, but couldn't find it. Then they made such a then they then they made such a grave for him, took a big black stone from the bottom of the lake, dragged it out on the shore, and inscribed his name on the stone. Okay, so what does that have to do with anything? Huh. What did that have to do with anything? I don't know. Did that give me something... Another legend or something? No, I I don't think so. That's odd. <sighs> Probably something to look for later on. Okay, I'm trying to get over to the crossroads so we can get over to Winfield. I believe this is the way. Is it not? Am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. I always get lost. Where's the bridge? Let's clear down here. I need to go back south. I should have realized when I went by the windmill. Yep, it was this way. This way. There we go. Now let's see what happens when we turn into our prize into... The Chancellor! Will he finally help us? Alright. So, do we need to heal? It doesn't look like it. We have stuff to sell. We got sell, 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 sell. I'm not going to sell that. Well, I don't know why. I probably could. Unless somebody wants it down the road. I, I don't know. Okay. Um, okay, so let's do our dialogue. Returning the halo. You're saying you found St. Landry's halo? Is this really it? Um, is that the Chancellor? Virgin Master, you hand the nim Nimbus to the Manstrate's attendant who takes it to him. Let me see. Yes, undoubtedly. The entire city and all righteous Catholics are indebted to you for this. And the thief, do you have him? Unfortunately, no. I managed to loosen the tongue of his accomplice to discover the location. No matter. You have done us a great service. On behalf of the city council, I reward you. I will also speak 
to of this to the Lord Chancellor. I'm sure he'll want to meet you in person. I hope so. Ooh, what did I get? I got like a thousand? Wow! Look at all that money I got now. I've never had over 2,000 coins. <laughs> okay. Um, let's, be far. let's see if there's any more new rumors. Nope, there isn't. Okay. Um, so let's um, audience with the Chancellor. It seems to me that you've proved your worth to the city. The Lord Chancellor awaits you in his chambers. This is the dickhead. What do I see, Mr. Albin? You let me pass and don't even demand a paper from the man, man street that confirms that I am me? Albin, he's the idiot. Seldom can you trust a person you see for the first time, Corinne. As you see, my first judgment about you was unjust. I hope you won't cling to your first judgment about me. Pass on. Mm, whatever. Warner Van stretches... Features are familiar to you. Most likely, you first saw him in your father's company when you were younger, but time has muddled your memory. He sits on a massive oaken chair. His desk is strewn with letters. He rises from the chair in motions to you in greeting. Glad to see you, my dear girl. Warner Van Stretch at your service. It seems fitting that the problems of this city was taken care of by the daughter of a good friend whose character was just as noble. Really? Okay. Hmm. Alas, Lord Van Stretch, such grief has befallen me that even our meeting does not sell, sell the pain I bear. Your friend, my father, has been murdered along with my entire family. I myself was betrayed when I was most... I myself was betrayed when I was most vulnerable by one that I had thought to be a friend. Now he claims my lands with my title, and I have no option but to turn to you for aid. Such terrible news. I knew Leonard von Lonstein since my youth. Yes, such bad news. It was quite unexpected. I will help you in any way that I can. But tell me, do you know the name of the murderer? Enderlin, the Landgrave of West Rothwild. Damn that man. Damn him. You seem to have a history with him. The Landgrave has dreamed of taking the Duke's throne for some time now. He now gathers an army to begin the realization of his dream. Your news makes sense. He seems to to cause unrest in the loyal south in Lanston. If only Lanston was his sole target. Surely you have heard about the misfortunes that have come upon the Duke's family. The whole city is talking about it. The old Duke cannot even rise from his bed. No healer has been able to help him. His young son, Baron... I'm sorry, Bruno, Brun, Bruon, who had only 16 summers, recently died from a different unknown sickness. The oldest of the Baron's children, Ludwig, well, he hasn't been seen in months. Let the earth swallow me up if this hasn't happened at the hands of Enderlin. Apart from the Duke, there is no one who has the influence and power to hold the local knights back from war. A little more unrest and the duchy will plummet into chaos, and that's when the Landgrave counts on his attack. In, and that's when the Landgrave counts on his attack. And when he comes to Winfield, the LB will overflow with the blood of innocence. The Chancellor lowers his eyes and puts a hand to his chin. He looks up, his gaze meets yours. I am doing as much as I can, but trusted individuals are the best weapon. You may count me among them. Yeah, you may want to hold that judgment on that. I am happy to hear it. If you are anything like your father, then that is more than enough. We have a common enemy and common goods, goals. As for your lands, it won't take me too much effort to persuade the Duke to return you Landstein, but we must make sure that the Duke's throne is not taken out from underneath him. I have a few tasks for you. They may appear small, but they will prove to be much larger in the grand scheme of things. A man named Ali von Blexi owns a large debt, owes a large debt to the town. It was agreed with his father that the castle and lands of Blixie would be given to the town to cover the debt, but Ali has been using the discord of the times to hide the debt. Your task is to go to him and ask him to honor his obligation to the town. Alternatively, you may lure Ali to Winfield, and the local guards will collect the money and, and titles from him, and t titles from him by any means that they seem fit. If all else fails, you may need to take his castle by force, but I trust you are intelligent enough to avoid that. Hmm. 
please avoid killing Ollie. I need him alive. As an alternative, as an incentive, I will personally request that the Manstrate loan you Blixie as your residence for at least a year. Wow. Okay. So, I know Ollie Von Blixie, and I heard a very different story from him. Are you surprised that he will lie about such things? Anyways, deal with him without delay. Hmm. So he wants me to turn on the guy that helped me. Hmm. So I can either confront him, which he told me not to. I mean, I don't know. Well, since I'm here and I've got money, let's see what else I can buy here. Nothing here, nothing there. Oh, oh, do I have a, finally have a land, or I finally have a, yes, 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 I finally have a horse pike. Yes, yeah, so now, ha ha, ha ha, now I can put him on a horse. A horse, a horse, of course, oh, here's that, it's a better sword, this is, oh, um, that, what has he got on his? How can this be, how can this be, I don't know, how can that be better? Unless, can I put it in his other hand? No, I can't. Huh. Well, how is that better? Doesn't, this is a better weapon. Well, that doesn't seem, I don't know, that didn't seem right. I sometimes wonder about this stupid game. All right. So now let's go to armor. Anyone? Oh, he can get a better range defense. Yeah. All right. He, yeah, but can he... Well, let's go to armor here. Nope. 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 Hmm. Nope. Nope. I was hoping. Nope, nope. Okay, so I still got 2100. Hmm, good armor and equipment is hard to find, it seems. So, let us go and look on what I'm supposed to do here. Alright, oh, I know where that's at. You took service with the Chancellor. He entrusted you to take away Castle Blixie from Ollie. Hmm. I think before we go do that, I did find out about the prodigal son. Okay, so that one's done... That one's done. Lynching Massage. Okay, Dog Nose. I didn't get the Dog Nose one because I, yeah. You're either going to do one or you're going to do another. So the, prod the Prodigal Son, since I'm here, I need to go, I have to go across. And I have to go over here. Let me get that one out of the way. I think I have to go talk to... Come here. I have to go to the goose. The goose. Where was that at? There it is. Hey, ear, hey, innkeeper. Dispatch four more kegs of wine, wine. Wine, 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 wine. Four more? Won't that be too much wine for you? How many of you are there? Well, if you count the girls, well, if to count the girls, it'll be about two dozen. If without them, well, me, then Andreas and Jacob, Sumer, Willie, Nipper, and about six guys from Winfield. Well, I think a dozen it is. In short, four cakes will be enough for now, yes. And I don't and don't forget the snacks. We're paying for all of it, remember. You know where to deliver them. Jacob's ma mission mansion in the south of Fritchen. 
Aren't you tired of car caress? Caress? Car caress? It's, I know what it is supposed to be, but um, aren't you tired of kerosene? Hey? He mentioned Willie Nipper. It seems, it looks like I should visit that mansion as well. Yep. And that was my whole... Okay, so, oh, Werner the Dancer? Hmm, nothing here. Werner the Dancer, wasn't there... Hey boys, take a look at what just crawled from the earth. Didn't we kill you before? Alright. I always have to fight these idiots, you know. And don't you know? Always gotta fight them. Oh, look at all the noblemen. Well, you're not going to be very noble when you're dead. Yep. I'm not going to be very noble when you're dead. Oh, you got those double swords. Um. Hmm. Let's go noble to noble. Mine's stronger than yours. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and get him healed, the poor kid. Alright, let's do him again. Dead? Yep, gone that time. Alright, I need to get these idiots out of here. We do too much damage. There we go. And they surrendered, and we got another ring, another hawk ring, and a poisoned dagger. Ooh, hmm. What does a poisoned dagger do? Well, um, actually we're over, we're almost coming up on, well, we are over 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode. Does anybody get to use that poison dagger? It would be nice if they could. Not him, not him. He leveled up. No, no one gets to use a poison dagger. They don't ever get to use them. Anyway. Let's get him leveled up. Oh, that's right. I was going to. Because he is going to be a knight. I think I'm going to... He is going to... See, this one here, they can go... A duelist. This is where they can do... I think they can do the double blades. Yep, it is. They're a fencer. They do double blades. So I think I'm going to go ahead with that with him. And now he can do the poisoned... Aha! Yes! Okay, now you can get one in both hands. Good for you, kiddo. And it's poisoned. All right. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. If you enjoyed it, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.